This is a lesson on using skip counting to multiply. So um, we can use skip counting to find a product. In order to find 6 times 7, for example, we can skip count by 6 7 times. So we are counting 6, 12, 18, and we're doing that 7 times in total. So the reason this strategy works is because 6 times 7 is the same as saying 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. Plus 6. And that is 7 sixes right there. And that's why it's the same. So we can draw on a number line to help us visualize. So we can draw ticks on the number line first because we know that we have to have seven. So I drew these black ticks first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I drew these red arrows next with sixes on top of them to remind me that I'm counting by sixes. Then I start with six and then I add six each time until I get to 42, which is my answer. So six times seven is 42. <clears throat> and I found that by skip counting. Now, in a similar process, you could skip count by seven six times. So you're doing almost the same thing, but you reverse the numbers. So that's the same as saying seven times seven times seven times seven times seven times seven times seven. And you'll notice that there are six sevens right there. Okay, on a number line, that would look like this. So we've got, um, we've got, I put my black ticks first, and I knew I had to have six of them. Okay, and then I put my red arrows next with seven on top to remind myself that I am skip counting by seven. And then I start with seven at the bottom. And then I add seven each time until I get to my end one, which is 42. So again, seven times six is 42. You get the same answer even though you used a slightly different process. Now, if you are a little bit um, familiar with some of the facts of multiplication, then you could skip count from a known fact rather than just from the, the lowest number. Okay, so for example, if you want to find um, 9 times 7, and you happen to know that 9 times 5 equals 45, or you could easily skip count by 5 to get 45 by going 5, 10, 15, 20 until you get to 45, or until you've skip counted 5 times or nine times, sorry. Um, so, as I was saying, sorry, um, we, we're skip counting by nine here, and in this equation right here, we've skip counted by five. Okay, um, we need to skip count by seven though, so that means that we need, to, we need to skip count by nine two more times, right there. Skip count by nine two more times onto the 45. So, um, we know that you would skip count two more times because 5 is 2 less than 7. And we need to skip count by, uh, by 9 a total of 7 times, just as I said above. So, it says um, 9 times 5 here. This is going to be a visual representation. So, I've got 9 times 5. So, um, that equals 45. So, that means I can start 45 on the number line. So, that just means my number line is a lot shorter and easier to make. So I uh, start with 45 here, and I put two more ticks on the line because I know that's how many more times I have to skip count. And I have to skip count by 9, so I put my 9s up here, and then I add 45 to this one. Or I, sorry, I don't add 45. I add 9 to 45 to get 54. And then I add another 9 to 54 to get 63. So I end up with um, 63 is my answer for 9 times 7. Now we've got three practice questions, and I'd like you to use um, skip counting just to show that you understand the process um, for these three questions, even if you know the answers already. Okay, so please pause the video and complete 4 times 8, 6 times 6, and 9 times 8 in a skip counting method. Then play the video and see if you've got it right. Okay, so now that you've finished, let's see how you did. Um, we've got, on A here, we've got 4 times 8. So in this case, I would like to count, uh, skip count by 4 is 8 times. Um, you may have done it, skip count, ah, skip count by um, 8 4 times as well. 
Okay, so if I'm skip, skip counting eight times, that means I need eight ticks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is going to be a little bit squishy, but hopefully I can manage. Oops. So we have our, I'm just going to do bumps because they're so close together. And they're little arrows. Okay. There. Okay, so I've got my fours on top, and you'll notice that I only have seven fours because my first four is actually the first tick. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ticks, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fours, and that's how it should be. Okay, so um, we start with four, and then we're going to skip count by four each time until we get to this number. So four, eight, twelve. 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So 4 times 8 equals 32. Now make sure that you did the skip counting method just to show that you understand this method. Okay, now let's do the next one don't really have a choice, you have to skip count by six, six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to put those a little bit further apart. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I've drawn my arrows to get me to the next one. And I'm starting with six and counting on by six. So six, twelve. 18, 24, 32, whoops, that's not 32, that's 30, and then 36, so 6 times 6 equals 36. And the last one over here on the end, let's use uh, skip counting from a known fact. So I'll put my arrows that continue the line to show it doesn't end. And I know the fact of 9 times 5 because we did it on the other side. And also because I just know it. So let's start with 9 times 5. And we know that that's 45. Okay. Now 5 is 3 less than 8. So that means that I need to skip count three more times by nine. So I have my 45 here, and then I need to skip count three more times. So one, two, three. And each time I skip count is going to be by nine. Right? So this is times five, times six, times seven, and times eight. That works. Okay, so 45, and then we would go up to 54, and then 63, 72. So here we are at our answer, 72. So uh, 9 times 8 equals 72. Make sure you've got your skip counting down. And here is your assignment is page 92 to 93, number 2 to 7.